All right, hello, hello, Capricorns. Capricorns, this is the monthly message for March. Okay, Capricorns, this could also apply for rising signs and moon signs. So also check your rising sign and moon sign. Um, Sagittarius energy, Pisces energy, Aries energy. Those ones popped a bit for you. Okay, Sagittarius one was crazy. Uh, it got really deep like it was... So... If you have Sagittarius in your chart, you're dealing with them. There is a piece over here, okay? When we get there to this, okay? Um, so 313 spotlighted, 311, 301, 303 uh, for the month of March, right? But that's also Piscean energy. Um, very interesting. There is Cancer sign energy, of course, there too, right? Yeah, yeah. So those were the main... Maybe Aries and Libra. We're just going to see, okay, where this goes down the rabbit hole. Sometimes they're getting a little intense. I'm just, I'm just going to be honest. Um, afterwards, I plan on pulling, especially with Libra Virgo energy, maybe Gemini as well. Um, maybe a little bit of Scorpio Leo. Uh, maybe on the rising sign or there's another video because after i finish these i have like one more yeah i think yeah aquarius is next <laughs> uh, oh 227 uh, i saw that i'm doing the video on 227 oh and i saw 227 so capricorns in particular have merry christmas for some of you i also saw um 103 111 um 104 1227 and Sagittarius 1216 1215 those are the ones that were kind of spotlighted okay and then 227 so Piscean a lot of Piscean actually interesting enough those were the main energies kind of popping for you but I am planning on doing these because man it was getting crazy and so maybe if these are already uploaded there's some key here I'm bringing it forth for you guys and the hidden world oracle Lucy Cavendish as I was cleaning up from the Sagittarius one I was all kind of um, flying over there so really especially too with like Virgo Libra or if you're dealing with that or you have that in your chart look for those other videos because there might be more down there. I'm just going to show you what this one is. I'm giving you guys a sneak peek of it, luckily. Man, uh, it was getting crazy. I am still going to do it the same. I'm going to give you your words and, and stuff. So, uh, a disclaimer. We'll just have to see where this goes. The Story Keeper, even. Tell your story. Legacy. Write your wisdom. This is even your family tree. Look, a four. Like your, your, you know, your ancestry, even. But your own personal journey. Look, it's like Rapunzel sitting there, even. Your story. Hmm, the story keeper. Okay. And I'm seeing also the dolphin caller. 415. So there's Aries Cancer energy, even mothering. Maybe there it's a mother. There's also maybe Capricorn. Um, Leo. Virgo, 6'4", maybe even some Gemini, little Gemini. Okay, I'm excited to go down that rabbit hole. And maybe I will still pull in a little of the Wonderland Tarot. But in this particular reading, because I want to kind of give you guys kind of the same uh, storyline. And understand, this writer weight Tarot has been really fascinating. I've been doing some, you know, since it's down the rabbit hole for March's energy, because it's Piscean dreaminess. and all this energy of dreaming what we're gonna do uh even some of your dreams and sometimes piscean energy can be 12th house stuff right so there's been a lot of like overcoming certain fear and stuff and then they're being aware of the worldly things that uh are really going on in the world so that we're not just like in a delusion or illusion and then also then taking action uh you know, on what we decide. So it's even a time of writing stuff down and setting your goals so you can pull in some Virgo energy to get more grounded in the dreaminess. Okay. Thank you, Capricorn, for your earth energy. I felt, I feel it from that last one for sure. Because, and I felt like I, I've been pulling in the petrified wood and I didn't even feel like I needed to. So even some Aquarian energy. So I'm, I'm pulling some a little bit funner, lighter for you guys because you're already very grounded. Wow, no way. One nine even. Maybe with the Sagittarius energy, but the 19th, 109 even, or 
uh, the Enlightenment. So Denise Lynn's uh, Sacred Forest. I'm noticing this might really tie into this. These ones are lovely when I do flow these in. Okay, wow. The Crystal Cave. 919. Yeah, so I'm pulling a lot of earth energy with these ones as well as Sagittarian. Virgo. 22 under there. Aquarius. Um, Gemini, I think Gemini even got a little bit of this. Even trusting this crystal cave, a temple, forest temple. Wow. 419 again. Oh, you 419, huh? You got a minute. You, you know what I'm talking about. I'm holding this. I'm just going to leave it right there. I feel like I just said that. So the blank slate, Capricorns, the, the blank slate. So this is also maybe with Sagittarian energy, something new. Um, these are just also for fun. This one I was putting away a race. Okay, this one was part of the Sagittarian. <laughs> okay. Um, it got crazy. Like, it starts out really great, but it was by the end of it, I was like, okay, these were getting a little bit creepy so there's your warning okay these are about the symbolism as well and i'm gonna get you charms all right and this is just for your monthly march let's see what your words are and then i'm gonna get charms on there and then we'll pull tarot um the alchemy book has been really interesting as well i've been bringing this one in uh wow it's 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 really in depth and pretty deep too so i'm also still learning it but it's been fascinating. I didn't read all of them. Um, I think I'm like the last one because it they they get too long, right? So, anyways, a zone, a race zone. Okay, race. Hmm. Somewhere where you race. A zone, being in the zone, bro, bro. What's up, bro? Bro's coming through. Race zone. <laughs> bro. Okay. Should I bring the camera down? I don't know if you can even see the words, but hopefully it will stay. Something about race zone, bro. Right in the center. All right, and maybe I'll read a little snippet out of the books. That's been interesting and fun, too. Some of them I didn't get to, but some of them I do. A show. Oh, my gosh. Like going, okay, guys, I'm just, I mean, clearly this is talking about going to a race, a car show even, or something like this, bro. A car show, bro. A race. The racetrack, even. Oh. It makes me think of this song by Jurassic 5. Well, there's lots of. I'm like, there's lots of other songs. <laughs> but there's one and it says off to the races or something. And it, you know, and there's also, you know, ministry and Jesus built my hot rod. Being. Show being poop <laughs> or dude. Let's say dude is okay. Look at is it dude or is it poop? So you went so fast you shit your pants, something like that. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm having fun with it. Okay, stop, stop pooping. Maybe you had to take a stop because someone had to poop. Low. You just squatted on the ground and did it right there. Look how I'm reading this. You like this? <laughs> smart. That was smart. <laughs> okay, this is much better, Capricorn. A slice. Okay. A slice was awful. Okay, maybe you sliced your butt on some something when you're... Say. Say. That's the final word. You have the last word. The last say... Okay, I'm going to get, because that's a weird way to end it, right? So I'm going to get just a couple more words. All right, hopefully these ones are good ones. Oh. All right, ing, saying, what was you saying? Low. <laughs> burn. Burn. A smart burn. Maybe even, you. do you know what I mean? Pill. Okay. And then the final one is two, T-O-O, -O, meaning also. I'm seeing a slice. So this is so weird because, I mean, you could like peel something and slice it, a fruit, but a burn that peels, you know what I mean? The skin peels if you get a sunburn or something. Okay, those are your weird ass words. These ones aren't bad. Oh, well, these ones aren't bad. Yay, Capricorn. 
I'm just saying it was it got a little intense, but that's okay. We're gonna get some charms and then maybe some yogi teas for the Capricorns for the month of March. Um, oh my gosh, cute! You totally get the reindeer. Merry Christmas and shit. No way. <laughs> you got the moon. So, so even for the moon signs, look, this one is cute. It really matches. Oh, it's the other, my other little setup. The little moon and the star. So maybe in particular for, for Capricorn moons or looking at the moon cycle. I'm going to set it. I feel like maybe I'll set it in the center right now. Doesn't have to be, but the leaf, a gold leaf. I'm putting by the forest enlightenment, the sacred forest. Oh my gosh, this is like a guitar pick or something. What is something is to you? What does this say? These little, something is engraved on this little tiny. And I see you. But it's hard for me to tell what the other writing is. Joy. Maybe it's joy to you. I don't know. This is kind of cool, though, because it looks like a raindrop. Okay, you know what else? A guitar pick. Well, something like that, but it's got an embroidered on it. I'm just going to put, or embroidered, mm, carved. I'm going to put over here on this tarot. All right. Every neighbor can be your teacher. Okay. So this is learning from your neighbors, maybe. All right. Every neighbor can be your teacher. Howdy, neighbor. And balance of head and heart yield strength of character. Hmm. I feel like putting it right here with this communication even. There's protection with this. Putting up your boundaries even around your neighbors too. And not getting into, not meddling too much in there. Every neighbor can be a teacher. So, wow, there's some Gemini energy. And I just say that because third house to me is like neighbors, siblings, energy, driving around. Um, even in this Piscean energy. Interesting. I like the yogi teas a lot. Okay, look at the sucker. He get the sucker. A healing sucker. I'm going to put it by this. The alchemical stuff. Alchemy, alchemy, yeah, yeah. No way. I can't believe, though, that I really pulled, like, the reindeer for you. Hmm. So, I'm going to put this with the Sagittarius one, especially since that may be more December energy, right? And then the little fox. You get the little fox. I'm going to put the fox here. No, let's put the fox here, bro. <laughs> okay, I like your words. They were pretty good. I'm happy with your words, Capricorn. Just telling you. And not... Sagittarius was good. It was a good, it just got a little crazy. <laughs> it got a little intense. <clears throat> so, we shall start from the beginning. I do want to first bring this up from the writer, uh, writer weight tarot. This has been interesting. I'm, I'm, I like using this. The colors and the holographic stuff has been pretty cool. So what we see in the symbology of tarot derives in a large measure from our own intuum and once revealed reflects back upon each of us to further enrich our lives. All right. I also brought in the chrysanthemum stone. So I'm telling you a lot about the stones and staying grounded. This is a lot about staying grounded. And then even the white is also clearing your head, higher communication, you know, higher thoughts even. Okay, so Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass. Now, Through the Looking Glass seems spotlighted, especially for Virgo, but I brought it up in Sagittarius Energy, but I never opened this one up. Um, and so the song, uh, <laughs> like fire, just like fire. Hmm. Some of you could have fire moons or Virgo moons. I'm I'm just gonna give that a, a whirl. <laughs> Maybe Piscean moons. Um, what else? Aquarius moons. Those are the ones that are spotlighted for me. So Lewis Carroll's the pen nine, right? For Charles the Griffin. Okay, I open it up. Look, we got the little lobster here. Tis the voice of the lobster. I heard him declare, "You have baked me too brown. I must sugar my hair." As a duck with its eyelids, so he, with his nose, trims his belt and his buttons and turns out his toes. When the sands are all dry, he's a guy. 
He's a, he is gay as a lark and will talk in a contemptuous, can't even read right, contemptuous tones of the shark. But when the tide rises and sharks are around, his voice has a timid and tremulous sound. Hmm. Interesting. The mock turtle as well. Lobster. You guys are the first ones to have some lobster. <laughs> lobster actually makes me think of scorpionic, which is interesting. And the griffin. The griffin. Well, interesting. We've got the panther too. So I'm, I feel guided to just read the little poems. <clears throat> Go on to the next verse. The griffin repeated it. It begins, I passed by his garden. Alice did not dare to disobey, though she felt sure it would all come wrong, and she went on in a trembling voice. I passed by his garden and marked with one eye how the owl and the panther were sharing a pie. The panther took pie crust and gravy and meat, while the owl had the dish as its share of a treat of the treat. When the pie was all finished, the owl, as a boon, was kindly permitted to pocket the spoon, while the panther received knife and fork with a growl and concluded the banquet by what is the use of repeating all that stuff? The mock turtle interrupted. If you don't explain it as you go on, it's by far the most confusing thing I've ever heard. Yes, I think you'd be better off leave it, said the griffin, and Alice was only too glad to do so. Shall we try another figure of the lobster quadrille? The griffin went on, or would you like the mock turtle to sing you another song? Oh, a song, please, if the mock turtle would be so kind. Who stole the tarts? So we are on chapter 11, 122. Interesting, there's a lot of Aquarian energy pulling in this. Um, one, two, one, two, one, two. I'm just, and uh, these are, when I look at your numbers here, even as I'm opening it, also Aries, Taurus. There's a lot of Taurus, maybe Piscean. I see 120, it's 120, 121, right? But there's one, two, one, two, and one, two, two. You know, so, and the 11, <laughs> wow. And I, I, this, the card, I also saw the 22. Okay, the soup, hmm, no accounting for taste. Sing her turtle soup, will you, old fellow? The mock turtle sighed and deeply began in a voice choked with sobs to sing this, Beautiful soup, so rich and green, waiting in a hot terrain. Who, for such dainties, would not stoop? Soup of the evening, beautiful soup. Soup of the evening, beautiful soup. Be beautiful soup. Beautiful soup. I'm, I'm singing it for you guys. So, beautiful soup. Hmm. Is it like ramen, too? Beautiful soup. Who cares for fish? game or any dish who would not give all else for two pennies worth of a beautiful soup your mother that's who i just that wasn't part of it okay just so you know but how interesting capricorn there's libra <laughs> aquarius beautiful soup a penny worth only a beautiful soup bow Beautiful soup of the evening. Beautiful soup. Soup of the evening. Beautiful soup. Okay, um, I just performed that. Uh, thank you very much. You're <laughs> that is why I'm making my own videos here <laughs> for you. Um, that was interesting. That's a new one. That's why this is also fun for me. And I do this anonymously, so you guys don't know me. But some of you might, but that's okay. You already know I'm a weirdo, so that's okay. Let's jump into some tarot. Okay, this is about uh, receiving something from all of your work, right? Uh, yeah. Whoa, harvest time. Maybe even at the the moon. The moon. I don't know why. I'm bringing, We're starting at the very beginning. We got the little fox. And you got the moon. So whatever that symbology is for you. 
maybe this is you understand even like there's about the food and cooking something and singing um oh this is so weird because you're putting this loving energy into your food and it's gonna taste so damn good at the races weird this is receiving something maybe someone's gonna bring you some soup but this is the the time of receiving for this work you've done oh and the loving there's compassion you're gonna receive love compassion and maybe if there any, is any acknowledgement of needing of a sense of forgiveness or anything i'm seeing someone coming forth for that that's a really in this this moon cycle is not all the way full maybe this is at the new moon and i'm not sure exactly when that is this could be especially for your moon if you're moon capricorn but you don't have to be i'm seeing you having water moons too for some of the capricorns these are lovely. Ooh, okay, let's keep it light and lovely. I'm going to give it a shuffle and let some of them fly out, okay? I don't have much space. This is weird why I have all these cards up here kind of getting in the way. But I just felt guided to do it this way. I'm going to let them fly out and then I will set them around and then I'm going to go through and add different things. All right, Capricorns. I feel like we're jumping already to the middle of the month for some of you. So some of you aren't watching this until the middle of March. And hello, welcome. Because most likely you're new to my channel then. But whatever, I'm really excited. Thank you all so much. It's, um, it's you know, we all start at the beginning. So I'm very pleased and happy with how cute my little channel is. And uh, this is my own little creative outlet as well. So I hope you enjoy and let's get going. Okay. Jump into the middle. Okay. The forest temple. One nine. So maybe really with some Capricorns or a brand new beginning even. Okay. There was some some boredom. Right? Someone was like, hey, kind of this apathy or boredom. Maybe even someone over here. Like this is someone focused on something else. And it's like you can't do what you normally would do for fun. And it's kind of not wanting to try. Maybe thinking this is boring even. Sometimes that is what stirs that. This is also like a, a sense of a letdown or a missed opportunity. Oh my gosh, there's a tower and movement. Whoa, you got the chariot. Okay, the other song is chariot. What is the song? Gavin de Gras. It literally like was one of the last songs. Wow, so maybe really specifically if you have this... um. I'm going to pull in, I mean, because we have both water. This is heavy movement and something like this chariot is something you're being forced to move or whatever this move is or this car, this trip. There's a huge tower like, oh my. This is the world coming in. This is even unexpected. So this also pulls in the cancer sign energy, right? So that's your opposite. So I'm going to bring them. Because they're always going to cause a little bit of, you know, especially there's always some type of opposition. Um, they're scorpionic with this too. But so, I'm just seeing this as whatever this taking a trip or this movement to wherever you're going. She's this weirdest thing is even in this temple thing. You know, she's wearing like a headdress thing or something. He and her. There's even the duality, the yin and yang. Maybe it's even traveling. Whatever happens there, it's going to be so unexpected. Like this tower moment. Wow. Wow. Okay. So maybe it's because someone was bored and needed some excitement even. I'm setting those right there. And they're going to continue on with that. So especially those of you dealing with the cancer sign or taking a trip. There's a car. There's a movement. So all this action is good. The tower also, but feels scary. Um, hmm. And well, the tower feels scary. The moon, the moon signs even, that Piscean energy, the Cancer sign. This is even secretive. Someone keeping information. The moon is right here again. What? You don't know about this. This is something that is still hidden because it's upright this is the true emotions of something let me see 918 99 no that's the 10 910 
no, 1018. Someone's keeping secrets regarding even uh, the their wealth business company because Ten of Pentacles. And so, you know what? This is this is something personal or private. You know what I mean? I think that this is okay. Unless this is part of your knowledge that you don't know about. Because the moon's there with the Ten of Pentacles. So keeping things on the down low regarding legacy, property. I'm seeing a lot of dogs really spotlighted. There's two dogs howling at the moon. Two dogs howling at the moon. Uh, it, the family. This is all the family legacy. There's this tower right here. Oh, oh. This is the craziest thing. Look at these towers. This is about depicting what you're seeing. Whoa, a soulmate, family. This is good, compassion, loving. 2-2. Two, 10-2. Two. Two, 102. Make you, someone needing to make a decision. Okay, why is there an ace of cups? Queen of Wands upright. Maybe she's not coming off very loving or compassionate. Sagittarius, Aries, Leo for some of you. Strength. Um, maybe she's trying to have strength and hold herself back from being... Uh, it's like... Very interesting. And maybe it's a Leo in particular because, it's, I mean, I got Queen of Wands and then Strength, so. And being generous and giving. Okay, 400. I think someone needed 400. Yeah, I, I, I actually saw that. 4 o'clock or 400. They needed 400. <laughs> maybe that's the tower. This tower moment. We'll find out more about this. I'm seeing someone being giving, but it's taken a long time. Um, Knight of Pentacles. That could be you, right? Capricorns, Taurus, or Virgo. But it's very slow. They're ch they're they're very young. A child giving to a child, even who feels a little stuck, uh, but they're trying to be understanding, compat like because. You understand even they don't have a job or they can't work. Right. And trying to maybe even 820, giving them a second chance. Maybe it's a Leo for some of you. Queen of Cups is upset about it, though. There's sadness there. But and someone's been stalking or spying looking in because they've been pushed. The person who's like looking in, spying here. Uh, is is because they are very oh it's a child either they're very unhappy too maybe they but they what they see they're not like gossiping they don't i'm not saying it is like slander or bad stuff but they feel pushed away and they're in sadness four four you're getting a lot of the four fours and intuitively someone knows that someone's awake or something someone's keeping there's a secret there's this is keeping things on the down low in a, in a private manner of, you know, it's your personal stuff. And there, I don't really see anything really wrong with this. Okay? Mm-hmm. Don't need to share. There are certain things that don't always have to be shared. But there is someone looking in, right? And it's because maybe they, they could have lost some money or they just feel kind of pushed away. Yeah. And it's an earth, it's definitely an earth sign or a water sign. I just feel like that or but they're trying to be loving and compassionate. There's a lot of pages and then this night he feels like a child. Wanting someone wanting a second chance. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna shuffle them too. Um those are cool. These are pretty cards. I wonder I wanna make sure you guys can see that. They're very nice. Okay. That tower, though, that's maybe so something that comes through with this might create some tower. But that could be, especially even if you've had this tower moment or you're dealing with Scorpio. Or you have that in your chart. Okay, Capricorns. <clears throat> but that's the weirdest thing. Like, the tower is here, right? And then, like, the towers are right here, too this moon, the secret. So there's a lot of watery stuff and they're inside the tower. I swear they're in one of the towers and there's another tower over here. Right? So it's like this communicate and this communication is going between. Huh? Someone is even traveling right to another one to, to somewhere to help. Yeah. 
All right, what? Someone's having a tower mall. <laughs> All right, what about this movement, the chariot card? Okay, thank you. That's quite a bit. Every neighbor, maybe they're your neighbor, helping your neighbors. Okay, yeah, duh. This is, this travel even isn't, yeah, will of fortune, maybe even needing to go to your neighbors. Every neighbor can be your teacher. Queen of Wands, the Hierophant, the Will of Fortune, upright, Capricorns. Wow. So, I, if you're wondering about that, I'm also seeing these people, these people who are in your neighborhood, in general, they they seem to be they they're in the upright. Like there's someone that they are very grounded. There's Queen of Wands, so Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. The higher font usually pulls in some Taurus or Virgo energy. But regardless, it's like, look, she even has a crown. This higher font even is, has some feminine. Like, that crown is really interesting. So it doesn't have to be Earth, I, or I mean masculine energy. And the Will of Fortune, good karma. 510, though, I do see some Taurus energy. But I also see that... This is, it's even divine timing, maybe, to take a trip or travel over there. Interesting. This one is so different. And maybe these are, represent your neighbors, Capricorn. Hmm. Interesting. They're your neighbors. Won't you be my neighbor? The higher fonts upright. So they can give good guidance very grounded. This is maybe even a spiritual leader. Also being able to, you know, people listen to, to him. The Wheel of Fortune's upright too. And you've got the chariot and this movement. Taking action, divine timing. Okay. Okay, I also see these ones fell out. They were off to the side. Where there is depression or sadness, okay, um, maybe it's with a cancer sign, five, six, I see seven, one, one, five, seven, fifteen, even. I'm seeing someone, um, they're, they're unblocked or they're, they're unblocking. <laughs> they were defending their, someone they, they, this love and trying to come out of some sadness or depression, but this is someone just like, um, trying to unburden, no longer trying to defend someone. Maybe it's even someone from your past or your childhood. Nostalgia. Um, 715, 715, 75, 76. Because there's sadness or depression, and that was kind of off to the side here. Okay, so I'm seeing it as maybe it's a cancer sign or something in July. I feel over here, even by the fairy. Oracle, so it could also have something to do with Virgo, Libra, um, Leo, Scorpio. Okay, I'm leaving those off to the side because they have something also to do with this. Kim Kranz. Okay, Ace of Pentacles underneath there, so receiving a gift and offer during this time even. Whoa, the Emperor is upright, the Sun is upright, but once again, the Queen of Cups in reverse. So... Okay, so Capricorn's that Cancer sign, right? Could be Pisces or Scorpio, but I'm also seeing them as they're they're heavy in their emotions. Emperor is feeling very victorious, even a, a son, a Leo, even. But some of the sun is shining. Uh, they're happy, joyful. The Emperor is like enjoying his time, feeling very victorious. Emperor's, you know, boss, father whomever in the masculine energy but you've also got the child here right and so there's also this loving child innocence there's joy and happiness with this he's a very loving compassionate um also ruler of you know what i mean uh, <laughs> whomever you know the king of his castle he's the emperor right this feminine though like i'm saying she's really sad about something maybe um there's something she's been working on or something she's in this could be something she's been working on or it's about her investments. Hmm, we've got Knight of Wands under there 
and three of cups in reverse. So it's almost like not being able to, not wanting to be around people. She would rather stay away. <laughs> but there's this wanting to run away from a reunion or a reconciliation or other people. Yeah, because you got three of cups in reverse and three. So the three, three, even a Pisces. Not wanting to be with others. This is wanting to go into hermit mode. Can't collaborate, work with others. Doesn't want to be around others. They just take action and take off. They could also be a younger fire sign. Feminine. Wow, it's like taking off on their own because they feel like they've got to defend themselves from other people. It's even about healing some some defensiveness or feeling... This is the wounded warrior. She's taking action. She's doing... I'm saying this is she. You got the emperor and empress right here, okay? So you, the, she, whoever, that this is that queen that's under there. That's There's some sadness. Um, or maybe overindulging, drinking, something like that even. But she's taking the action to do this healing work. Because sometimes that's even some self-medication or feeling very like a victim. I'm seeing the action being taken to lay down the rest of these weapons and like be a, a good, compassionate wife, mother, leader, feminine. Okay? Hierarchy. Emperor, boss lady. And being no longer, yeah, this is being giving and generous. Maybe someone over and uh, even to a child or to help give. Someone doesn't have the strength, right? To, uh, to like let leave someone out or let someone out because they they want a second chance maybe they just have don't have clarity on it a judgment call being made hmm so they're doing this work maybe they're not speaking they're trying to get out they're not communicating their true thoughts or something you don't have clarity on it but this next chapter is like releasing let's see i see 821, you know, is is no longer feeling stuck or trapped. King of Pentacles, upright, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Okay, there could have been some looking at some options or some, you know, this Piscean energy, dreaminess. Maybe and not having clarity. Oh, I see Ten of Swords there too. The, oh, what's over is competition and fighting with the King of Cups person who has been over played a victim a child a little immature this was like hmm i'm seeing i'm no longer feeling anxiety because there could have been someone competing or fighting or feeling like uh, they were fighting and that's done it, it's like it's like so reaching a 10 of swords plus a five of wands in reverse is like okay I, I'm just there's no getting through and it's a waste of energy and choosing to walk away and and it be done done with whomever that is okay this one got crazy Capricorn Whew. let's see so what this movement is so I'm jumping to the next tarot right okay this is the Barbara Moore and Eugene Smith Tarot in Wonderland, and we had the chariot on there. So very much about, ooh. And then the weird little, forgot, this weird little charm. It's like a guitar pick or something. Made for you. It says made for you. Something made for you. A special trip, a special car even. Interesting. Made just for you. <laughs> okay, I'm putting that away. Wow, I might read out of this book. We'll see. What time is it? 38. Okay. Let's look under the deck. So I shuffled all these for you guys. No way. Nine of Wands in reverse again. Okay. Okay. I see this is really good even. You got nine, seven, seven, nine. Um, there was a time. This is that wounded warrior feeling like you've got to defend and protect yourself. Feeling like there's a lot of fear even in like, you know what I mean? Even in your own neighborhood or the other people around you. Maybe you had some things before with neighbors. I totally get this. Where and I'm just seeing is these people seem to be really good. Um I, I mean they're they're upright, they're connected, they're in their power, which means they 
hmm, they're not going to do shady, underhanded shit. These are people you can, I'm saying it as people you can trust and they know they have good, there's good karma, divine timing, this movement. Nine, nine. Whoa. So maybe even Virgos too. There could have also been some issues regarding, um, you know, finances, um, feeling wounded regarding things like that. Like I'm saying in a, in maybe in a bad neighborhood or something, I don't know. Nine of wands in reverse. Okay, this is the Empress upright again. She is still a little fearful, right? But look here, Alice is trying to soothe her. It's okay, it's okay. She's a little disheveled. One, one shoe. Nine of Pentacles is being financial. This person is, they, see, this is the thing. They they have overcome, um, you know, any type of stuff where, like, a financial burden where they, they understand finances of the world and saving money being f stable even this queen of wands that has a single energy maybe she's a single person but she doesn't have to be she's she feels stable on her own even financially that was that queen of wands energy too and we've got the virgo there too right and the empress the harfa even so there's also possibly taurus no way or aries even maybe it's the aries mother wife Look at that. Look at that. Even a hierophant grounded. There's a little Taurus with it. Five, three, 300. Okay. 300. Told you they needed four. There's three. So into this new beginning, it's divided timing. There's good karmic. This is a good fortune. Oh my gosh. And the world again. Um, wow. Make sure you can see these. I'm letting these flow out because I, I, like I said, I shuffled for you. Um, so even this tower moment, I'm going to flow it through here. Because once revealed, right? It says once revealed reflects back upon each of us to further enrich our lives. The, ten of, the moon and the ten of pentacles. I mean, eh. <laughs> okay. The tower also has the world. So it's like a new book, a new chapter. And maybe even regardless, it could be, it's a completion of something, this tower, this sacred, this temple even, maybe even completing something. Three of cups in reverse. So this has come through again, maybe especially for a Piscean or a Cancer or a Scorpio feminine who does not want to come to the party. <laughs> maybe they are even a child or they're young. It's more focused on work. Yeah, no way. Oh, my gosh. Holy cow. And they are a soulmate. Okay, there could be... Look, she has her cup is empty, though. Like, she feels a little sad. She doesn't want to celebrate. There, Maybe there is depression or sadness. And she... And for some of you, she is the empress as well. Because it's the same character here. So, this could be the mother right so some of you a water sign mother even pisces cancer scorpionic okay and then there's libra with it maybe there is some sadness because someone wants things to be fair and balanced or there's legal issues some oh okay here we go 11 8 okay maybe scorpio 11 8 or 8 11 the 11s again all right I see 9-11. Okay, I'm going to flow it through. I, I'm Until I get to the point that I, you know what I mean? Where I'm like, all right, let's see what all the story is. Okay, so justice is upright, which is all doing what's right and fair. And 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 putting your, your wands down that you don't... It's like feeling like you no longer have to protect yourself from everyone else. Um, it's healing a wounded warrior. It's no longer, like, not feeling trapped anymore. There's somewhere you can go if you need to. A neighbor even, okay? That's what I'm saying even. Virgo or Libra. You got the fire sign. Aries even. Leos. Seven of cups. Eight, seven. Maybe it's a Leo. Nine, eight, or Virgo. See, no longer feeling stuck or trapped. Financially. And feeling stuck there is looking at their options of where to go, though, maybe, right? So this is the illusion time. 
and because there isn't clarity because it's like leap, a leap of faith into this hole of the unknown and that's kind of scary so four of cups was there before remember this boredom the truth someone's not telling the truth seven one I, I don't know why i'm saying it's not that they're not telling the truth they just don't have that true clarity of what they want to do how about this yeah maybe needs to write it down and maybe this is a brainstorming thing as well the piscean energy there is some apathy or boredom we've got temperance in reverse so for some of you with the sagittarius or or an aries person you got the taurus even maybe there's too much work or they're bored they're, they're they think like they they can't do something they're, they're too busy they have to work there's overworking because this is all work 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 and it's like meticulous work. And it's a child even. And But the Ace of Pentacles is upright again. Queen of Pentacles in reverse with this one. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to stop at that. That's where I'm stopping because that's quite the story. Well, that's quite that story. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, before I go to this alchemy, what are we on time? 4609? interesting um wow so you have the tower here we're gonna see what's underneath here and then also this new chapter so this will be at a completion i feel like like i'm saying this is even a shift to the next chapter of the season the end of march energies as we flow through this right or something more like that right the 21st no, what's the tower is the 14th the 14th, the 21st, something like this. See, 413. Hmm. 421. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. These ones are really pretty. So, I don't know. We're also going to see what this tower moment is and this forest temple and getting this enlightenment. This is like an act of God coming in even, though. But this is when things... There was usually something that wasn't built on stable foundation, right? There's, this is a, sometimes there is Aquarian energy with this because it's like an act of, like you, uh, God coming through because someone's not um, recognizing the signs or something. Is people are jumping out of the tower because they feel like they have no other option, right? And this is why you need to feel safe and grounded. Okay, the forest temple was what was under there. One nine, right? And then we've got the 14. 10, 14 even. Hmm, Pegasus in the 23rd. Transcending. Why did I say 23? I think this is an 8. So 3 and 8 sometimes look... 10, 28. Scorpionic. Okay, 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 okay. One twenty eight. Also 2, 8. So we have in the 28th. Do you see what I'm saying? closer to this end something happening here this transcending and an enlightenment okay let's find out what this tower moment is <laughs> i'm i'm like this is the sacred forest so uh it'll be interesting okay all right whoa activation springtime spirit garden of spring no way. Oh, the daffodils. Look, the little fairies. Did you see how it flew over there? And we've got the swan here and the daffodils. Three, six even. So maybe for some of you, I mean, for some of you, whenever you're getting this, this is Piscean. The nine even you have. Wow. So maybe on the sixth, it, it's going to be a beautiful spring day or whatever. You know, also weird. 914, 921. Interesting. Spirit Guardian of Spring activation. The greens. This Wonder Tarot Land might have something more. Because it, it flew right there. I'm going to leave that there. All right. What else for the Capricorns? Capricorns for March. Because this is getting long and I have a couple more. So I'm only going to. No. Are you kidding me? This happened before. And I freaked out. I think it was for like 111 or something like this. 9 10 the 10 new beginnings and notice the daffodil fairy 
when I first opened this one, I'm getting a ringing in my, my left ear. So when I opened this in the past, when I first opened this, these ones flew out together. Now they're not in order. See, this is 10 and this is 36. But you can see this is one of these little fairies over here. And she came closer. New beginnings, activation, springtime. So daffodils are already kind of in bloom right now. And then we got 16, enchanted fern grotto, a refuge. And I'm really gonna also interlink this Capricorns because with uh, Libra, Capricorn, um, Pisces, Gemini, Virgo. Yeah, Libra too. Yeah, one six even, and Aries. Um, and the spring energy even, right? <laughs> There's Virgo there too, yeah. 10, seven. 107, 910, huh, the Fern Grotto, okay, these ones are beautiful, so like I said, look in my channel or look forward to, I am going to be pulling this Fairy Oracle, and we started that, right, and the Wonderland Tarot, because this is a monthly for March, but I'll probably do, I haven't decided if I'll do pick a cards or I'll do one for every single sign, but look for the fairy oracles or, or <laughs> in my channel a little bit later. Um, I'm bringing a lot of the fairies in. Yeah. Anyways, um, there's something more there for you in particular. Okay, wow. A refuge. The fern grotto. She, I, she has like... There is like a little unicorn or something in this. She's holding, looking up to the light. The unicorn. Okay. This new chapter. All right. And then we have summer, right? So you got spring and summer. And protection. Wow. 3-7. Expansion. So there is Gemini and Libra. Um, yeah, let's see, 70, 10, 21 even, and 310, and Piscean energy. Guardians of the land and protection. See, and you had 21 there too. So 721 as well, and 710. The 10s, even the protection. Huh, so you got a total of five of these cards. There's protection over here. Hmm. 10-3, 103 even. Expansion, protection, the apples. Yeah, 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 you get the apples. Okay, I don't know if I'll read out of the book with those. Once again, you know, this is also about your intuition. I see wise woman of the grove, grace, Aries, cancer, Sagittarius, potential, Piscean, Underneath there, oh, the red stone, the box, Grace, wise woman of the grove, you got the grotto, 49, okay, I'm going to set that off to the side, I want to see what your alchemy cards are, okay, Capricorn, and then you have the sucker there too, like it's got the little healing sign on it, the lollipop, <gasps> little Sagittarius, <laughs> Maybe there's Sagittarius with this too. I don't know. Sugar. Hey, sugar. Gemini even. Okay. Let's see what this one is. I'm just going to look under there. No way. Okay. Darkening and separation. Weird. Remember you had that stuff with like the skin peeling or something? A burn? But separation came through a little bit with... um. What's it called? With, with Sagittarius energy? I'm not going to take those, but... And I'm also seeing, you know, the crow here, the raven. I don't know these ones, okay? I just wanted to look under there. These ones get creepy, too. Calcification. Okay, there's a lot of birds. And the sun. Whoa, underneath it is the sun. Wow. So maybe specifically sun sign, but... Capricorns, but Sun is also. I feel like Leo pulls that a lot too, but this is the the ego energy too, the Yin energy. 
Oh, wow. And the uncreated? Wow. The uncreated. The sun. I feel like maybe you draw even sunshines or suns. Um, P Piscean got this as well. The sun. Whoa, and Scorpio. Pluto. Like, even in the... This is something that's not created yet. Uh, a sun. A weird synchronicity. Unus Mundus. The never ending story. The reptiles. Weird. See, these get weird. I don't know if I'm going to read it all because it's getting kind of long. But if you guys see one, a card or something like that, and you really want to know what the book, and I didn't specify it, if you put it in the comments, I will do another video, you know, and kind of link it in. If I need to, I'll pull those cards and just, but because there's only so much time. <laughs> oh, wow. And the benevolent guide. Wow. I love that the bee came out. Okay. The benevolent guide. This one came out with the Pisceans, uh, Aries, I think Capricorn. No, you are Capricorn. So yeah, um, there was another one, but this is also about trusting your higher self. The benevolent guide. <clears throat> interesting spirit guardian of spring a benevolent guide even pisces three six maybe even gemini sagittarius i'm gonna set that. and it's all different colors the daffodil fairy you're gonna maybe even see in the daffodils in march okay right of course they're already out there whoa the blood so sagittarius coming through too they got this one it, there's gone a little creepy, but the red stone, the action, getting your blood pumping. No way. I look at the double red and raven's head. Look how these can connect like this, even though this is upside down. So I even paying attention. I guess I should pay attention to that. See, this raven's head has the pearl. The blood. New beginnings. 20, 30, 6, 7, 37. Hmm, three, seven. The raven's head, enchanted fern grotto. Like there's something in this. They're holding this, holding this pearl. Okay, I'm saying that right there. Spirit guardian, whoa, Neptune, a lot of Piscean and Scorpionic and Sagittarius. The Neptune energy. Three, seven. Okay, so someone needs three, seven. Maybe it could be on March 7th or, yeah, or Gemini, Libra, Pisces. But there, I mean, whoa, a spirit guardian of summer. Whoa. Okay, there's these ones. I'm definitely not going to be able to read all these, okay, because these get way too deep. I've, I've thought about I should just give them their own, you know, reading for all the signs. Right now, this is the first month I've kind of incorporated them, so I'm still learning them too. I like doing that and exploring together, learning together. Okay, the Neptune, the Piscean, you get the, the red and blue. Isn't that cool? Ash, no way. There's even a cancer sign there. I'm also seeing 310, though, the 21st. The Ash, Neptune, Piscean, okay? Resin, this is something that you're bonded to. Your higher self is resin. Your higher self, the spirit guardian of spring. Three, six. The 10, again, you have 10, 10. So maybe even it's Libra, because there is quite a bit there too. Gemini, Virgo splendor oh my gosh the sun splendor for some of you maybe there's a sun that is a sagittarius or a scorpio sun some of you could have this as a sun sign right because capricorn you could be moon or rising too um the sun splendor it's the blood it's like ancestry you're bonded together look at these how they're bonded i told you this is cool these are neat and, you know, there's so, we can go so, so deep with these things <laughs> and it can take a lot of time. Uh, but I just like let you 
also see them. Okay, copper, wow. This is also um, Venus, love, Aphrodite. Um, copper also is very conductive and there's the color changing, right? This love. Whoa. Oh, the gold rose. I'm all, oh! <laughs> um, this one, who got the gold rose to begin with? I think it was the Piscean even. The golden rose. There's also Rosa, there's, there's also Sagittarius with this. And maybe Libra Aries. There's Capricorn, Lib yeah, all these ones. Ash, oh, and even maybe a Cancer sign. Pisces spirit guide, wow. I'm all Pisces. Is your big spirit guide, Capricorn. Protection for this earth, even. Protectors of the land, of an earth sign, even of the land, though. This one doesn't quite fit. You see how I have it twisted? There's something here that's different. Okay. Disillusion. That's that final one. I'm gonna set disillusion here. The sun splendor and the copper. Venus in love. Disillusion. Then the bird going down into that one. I don't know what disillusion is. Okay, I also see the sun. Wow, so you're definitely getting, there's a lot of Leo. There could be Leo, but a lot of sun energy. As you can see, this is like, oh, isn't that weird? Like I pull my sun card out, or the, the sun card, but the sun um, little tapestry thing. It's a sarong. That's what it is, dude. This is a sarong, just so you all know. <laughs> That's what I use to lay down. Yeah, I'm just creative, you know, I just use what I got. The blue, oh, the virgin's milk. The blue, the milk, the sun giving, oh my, giving the sun the milk. <laughs> You're bonded. Whoa, sorry, I'm just, okay. The great serpent is underneath there. Okay, see, these are fascinating and they're just, I can go way too deep and it's gonna take way too long. So this is also maybe just kind of a little taste of some of these cards. I'm gonna let you look at them. I'm probably not gonna open the book with them because it's gone pretty long. Whew. But like like I we said at the, or like we said in the beginning. <laughs> All right. Oh my goodness, what time is it? 102.40. Okay, Capricorns. Especially where Capricorn Sagittarius is, right? Where you have this in your chart in particular. Like, birthday is in December. You know what I mean? Like, Christmas is always your theme. And you probably love it. But, oh, okay, this could be Capricorn. So it could be vice versa. Um, moon sign or Venus is even. But I pulled this for Sag, this heart. So this is interlinking with that. So any of you that are dealing with this, that's what I'm saying, Sagittarius Capricorn, because we got the reindeer. Okay, this one is the one we're, we're jumping into with this. This is the, um, the Alice in Wonderland tarot deck. This is one of the newest ones, and I'm just going to see what's underneath there. Eight of Cups. So emotionally walking away from something. Eight of Cups. Whoa, nine of cups. No, six of cups from someone from your past. Okay, so this has something to do with past, childhood. Whoa, lots of emotions, though. A lot of water energy during this time, even a lot about the emotions. Like I was saying, there's Venus there, right? Um, wow. Interesting enough, I pay attention to the different cups, right? And these have the cracks on them that are trying to be healed. So I'm also seeing that there could have been really bad memories. There was some heavy emotions. I'm seeing this as traumatic, not good, not good nostalgia, okay? Even trying to heal some childhood wounding stuff or it's someone from your past, okay? Or your childhood, someone you've known when you were a young child or someone from your family or some past life stuff if you want to jump into that. Okay, I'm just going to let some of these 
lie out and then I'm gonna have to end it because we're already an hour in, okay? So thank you all once again. And I figure if you've been watching this far, then then this one is for you and that's why we're getting a little bit deeper. I like I decided I'm not gonna read. Dang it. These go so deep. This has to do also, okay, with the sun, once again, because you got the sun so much, the happiness, even there's the father energy trying to be victorious, but underneath it, right, there is someone, there was, there is some sadness from the past, so, and if you're really understanding that this is something deeper and different, and I almost feel like I should do a separate video where I read this, and maybe I'll link it in, Okay. And that's for specific Capricorns of different. Okay, maybe I will do that. So you're welcome to check the description box. Maybe I'll do that for you guys. Um, since I have it all up here where I just jump in and I read the book with these, okay? Even with the other ones. If you would like that. Um, if you get this and there's nothing there, then I haven't done it yet, okay? <laughs> check back. Six of cup. Okay, six of, of flowers, actually. These are wands, so victorious. Okay, now I've, 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 look at this. I've shuffled it and now we were going six one. No, we're going six four. No, it's six six. What am I doing? So if we're pulling in some Gemini energy, even siblings, neighbors, right? Things like this, uh, elementary school. This is when you, you need to remember about the memories of when you felt victorious when um you felt good when you had uh, and surrounding yourself even with people and memories like trying to overcome there's sometimes we get stuck in the bad but there's got to be some good happy nostalgia somewhere and it's remembering those um right and the people who are supportive of you who got your back or when you have been that way towards others Okay, wow, that's what I opened it up, 6-6. Six, six. So even some Gemini coming through for you, even about your day-to-day -day life, um, and Virgo. Or or like I said, it's someone from your, your past, your childhood, and that's kind of the message of how to shift and move through it, is taking control of your own thoughts, right, and your behavior. Uh, your your thoughts i mean i'm not trying to say get over it you know that's not, or anything like that that's not being compassionate and understanding it's that somewhere there's got to be the good ones and that's where we try and focus on what brings that and then you bring that into the now so you can be happy and joyful and remember the innocence of childhood and the curiosity and um, the wonder, <laughs> the wonder, like even Alice is like, even in the Piscean, in this delusion, there's wonder. There is, and it's, you know, so sometimes, and even I think this is where the fairies and things like this come in and they, and even the protecting, you know, our own little wounded child or other children or things like that. All right. So hedgehog hedgehog in reverse hierophant in reverse another hedgehog so this is all about finances work and money that's what i'm saying a lot of earth energy someone broke a law broke a vow broke a commitment they even lost money they lost a job no way so this is some of that trauma stuff here what do we got nine one one nine no way the 19 again um five nine Nine five. Okay. So we've got a lot of this uh, Taurus energy. So maybe in the past or in a different time, right? Um, I'm looking at them both ways. I'm seeing this is not receiving a, a job, not getting a job, not getting the gift that you were hoping for even, um, or a raise, okay? A raise. And someone wasn't committed they maybe broke a promise, broke a vow. Nine, nine, five even. Maybe this is some Virgo or, you know what I mean? Other Capricorn, something like this. Whew. The nine of flowers is, is that nine of wands once again. And that's feeling like a victim. But it did come in reverse once again. 
so not to feel like a victim because of things like this. Like it's not your fault if somebody wasn't able to uh, commit you or or if or they they broke a law. You know what I mean? Okay, Hierophant in reverse. It was about there's. It's about juggling money. It's about finances. Someone having strength. Seven, eight, two, eight, eight, two. Leo, even. Hmm. I think they didn't have strength in, and even. Because I'm seeing it as being giving. Like, maybe that's it. Not holding back um, with their spending. They couldn't hold themselves back from something. Hmm. A soulmate, two, two. Of being generous and giving to someone who they felt was a soulmate. You got two, two. Two, two, the fours. The 400. They needed 400, huh? <laughs> Maybe they promised they wouldn't do it or something. I don't know. Maybe they needed some financial help. I don't know. Something like that. Raven's head. Okay, what else? I got to finish this up. I'm all, I got to finish this up. Uh, five, six, seven. This is about unblocking. No longer being defended. Whoa, hope and healing. The star. The Aquarian energy, but hope and healing. Unblocking. They're hoping that someone unblocks them. Um, and lays and makes a decision. I feel, like the, I feel like someone did take an action. Someone has been unblocked. So if you've like blocked someone or been defending somebody or feeling very defensive... It's like laying that down, no longer feeling like you got to protect someone or defend someone or block. They've been unblocked. That action has been taken. Well, look at how the color shift to this purity once again and trying to have hope and healing. 7 2, 2 7. 17. 2 17. Whoa. So they were hope they're hopeful of things being able to be healed. Because this four swords even with rest and time. The white rose again, the white rose, the golden rose and the white rose. Wow. A star. Hope. Very hopeful. Okay. With an understanding and hopeful. I think they're very hopeful that someone will be understanding and compassionate if even apologize if, and and um yeah yeah water sign energy even a child um even if they were acting kind of spoiled or unapologetic immature that's even what they're gonna say right it's seven. Oh, it's like someone maybe they were being sneaky and lying literally this is the weird thing okay i'm gonna tell you this capricorn this is funny <laughs> I was like asking my daughter, literally, I was like, okay, did you do this? And like, she was, she tried to like shake her head up and down and tell me yes. And I'm like, no, you didn't like, she's like, no, I did not I'm like, who ate this? And nobody, and you know, there's just different little things. These aren't huge, right? This is what I'm talking about. One of those type of an innocent, like, and then she's like, I, I'm like, Kate, if you didn't eat it, you didn't eat it, and you didn't do it, then you did. And she's like, I know. I just didn't want you to think. Anyways, I was like, don't lie to me. <laughs> you can't lie to me. Anyways, it's something kind of like that. It's an innocent type of thing where you're just like, don't lie to me. I, they can't lie to you. They can't lie to you. Look at the sun. There's so much sun. And golden rose. I love this card from this deck okay capricorns i hope you have enjoyed that um at this point like i said maybe i will i don't know maybe i will you can you can look the description and see if i decide to maybe i'll wait and see i think no because i would need to do it now because i'm not gonna pull them all out i'm just gonna read what i've got out here yeah okay so Check the description, see if I linked in the other video, if I decide to read the alchemy words. I'm all the alchemy words, the alchemy book. Okay, thanks so much. Bye-bye.